created in the previous video an ICE application where you enter your name and your age and it will compute the your dog years. So this is Hello Peter Pan. In dog years you are 3.28 years old. So we have that now. Let's stop it. Let's add something. This could have been done with JavaScript. Let's add something that uniquely uh, reflects that this is server-side programming. So let's assume that there's a lot of people logging into this web page. Also, I want to know then, what is the average age of everyone logged in? Okay, and that is something that I can only know with server-side app that keeps track of everybody that logs in or that visits the website. So let's do that. For that, I need to hold a value where the age of every person is coming in, right? I need to hold a value that will get every everybody's age, right? And then compute the average or something along those lines. So there are many ways to do that. What I'm going to do is, because the average is the sum of all the ages divided by how many people have logged in, right? Or how many people have requested an age. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little variable to accumulate all the ages that have been put and another variable that counts how many people have been logged in. So I can compute the average every time. Okay? Now that needs to be somehow global to the whole application. And although there's more than one way to do this, the way I'm going to show you now uses something called global ASX, ASX file. To create a global file for this application, where global variables can be initialized, I'm going to right click on the application, click on add, new item, and then I'm going to look for a, uh, where is this, the global, I, I need to be careful here, here, I'm going to create, I'm going to uh, create a global application class. By default, it's going to say global.asax, okay, global.asx. That is the name this global um, file needs to have, okay? So I'll click Add, and this file will be added right here. Here it is, okay? Now, in the global ASAX, there's three methods, application start, application end, uh, application error, I'm sorry, there's more than three, application error, session start, session end, okay? Those methods are going to get called when, you know, either the application starts, which is once for the whole application, something when the session starts, which is going to happen every time somebody logs in, right? This is when the session ends, basically when that user times out. And if there's errors, they're going to be called here. And when the application finishes executing, this method is going to, call, it's going to be called. So the global ASX is going to help me keep track of things. Now, I need to share from this onto my C Sharp class where I computed the dog years. In order to do that, in order to share objects, you can share objects between uh, different places in your, in your solution, in your project. And one of the places that allows you to share stuff is a little map of key value pairs called application, the application object. So let's start this. First of all, when I'm going to create a, a little a variable here, which is going to be of type int, and it's going to have the number of people logged in. The people logged in. And it's going to initialize it to, well, that's it. I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to create another variable that's going, to that's going to keep the sum of all the ages that have been put. So, ages. There it is. Now, when the application starts, so that the first time you know I fire this up, I'm going to initialize this thing. So, people logged in, it's going to be zero, and ages is going to be zero. Now, I will need to share these values with other people places in my other parts of my project. For that, I'm going to put these numbers into a map, the map called application. So I just type application, and then I need a key for this. So it's going to be uh, 
people logged in. I tend to name them the same variable so then I don't forget. People logged in is going to be, and I tend to put only strings here. You can put any kind of object, but then if you have several kinds of objects, you might not know what to get. So what do you get when you when you get something from the application? So what I do is I put, they're all going to be strings. So uh, I'm, I will put the number of people logged in, people logged in dot to string. That will give me the value of this. And then I'm going to put in the application, I'm also going to put the ages of these people. And that's going to be ages to string. So when the application starts, I initialize everything to zero. Now when the session starts, when a session starts, that means somebody opened this application from their browser. It might not have been for the first time, but somebody opened this from the browser. A session has started. So when that happens, okay, I'm going to increase the number of people logged in, and I'm going to add it to the um, and I'm going to add it to the, the number of people logged in. So application people logged in it's going to be equal to the people logged in dot to string. So every time somebody logs into the application or I mean opens the website the website, I'm gonna increase the number of people logged in. Okay? And that's, what, that's what's going to happen here. So I have a key variable people logged in and the, their ages. And whenever somebody goes into my session, they, they start a session, the people logged in is going to increase by one. Now we have to deal with the age now. But the age is not entered until, <clears throat> until in the default.aspx, until they click in my web page, until they click, you know, uh, until they click submit for the form. So once they click submit, we saw that we go to this method in the code behind. We go to write message in the code behind, which tells you, hello, my name is this is this in dog years. In dog years you are however many dog years, right? Now in here, I also need to now compute the average age. So the average age is going to be computed as follows. I'm going to create a variable all ages, which is going to be my application ages. Remember, this is the variable that's going to hold in a string form, but this is going to hold everybody's ages here. Okay? Everybody's ages is going to be here. All ages, and then I, this is a string, right? So I need to convert it. I need to convert it into a into an int. So I'm going to say convert to int 32 that. So it's going to convert this into an int 32 and it's going to go into all ages. And then I will write in the message, then, then I will write, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to compute the average age that's going to be uh, all ages divided by the amount of people. I don't have that variable. So how about I do int people connected? It's going to be in the same way. It's going to be convert to int 32 application people logged in. I believe that's what I called it. So it's going to be the, the average is going to be all ages divided by people, the, by the people logged in. So you see, I have I have all the ages, and people are converted into in 32, all the people logged in. Now what happens is I just entered my age, so I need to update this ages variable, right? So here's what's going to happen. All ages contains all the ages entered so far, but not the age that I just entered here with my age. So I just need to add it, plus my age. Right now it's all the ages so far, plus the one that I just entered, divided by all the people logged in. Now the people logged in, logged in does consider me, because when I start the session, people logged in 
to increase. We saw that in the global ASX. When the session starts, people logged in increases right here. The last thing I want to do is, now this all ages, I want to put it back into application ages so that other users can use that variable uh, updated. So I'll do that. I'll do application ages. It's going to be all ages to string. And I'm going to output a message now. Message dot inner HTML is I'm going to concatenate the following. I'm going to concatenate this. Oops. The R, the average age is, and then is the this is the age in human years, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be AVG, which is where I'm keeping the average. Okay, so now let's see this running. So all my files get saved when it's running, and let's see how this works. Now for this, I'm going to open two browsers, right? I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to paste it in a different browser. So first let's enter, whoops, so here. All right, I'm not going to go there yet, but let's say the first one, enter your name, Peter Pan, and my age, 24. I'll submit the query. It will tell me, hello, Peter Pan. In dog years, you are 3.42, 43 uh, dog years. The average age so far of all the users logged in is 24 because Peter Pan's the only user. And now let's say let's say uh, another user comes in a different browser, different computer. And this is Julie, and Julie is uh, forty-five years old. Submits and then hello Julie. In dog years you are six point forty-two, whatever the dog years are. And then the average age is thirty-four. The average is thirty-four. It was twenty-four when Peter when Peter um, when Peter was here. Is now 34 here because it considers the 24 of Peter and the 44 of Julie and it tells her, right? And this you cannot do from a client side. That's how you use, that's one use for the global ASX file.